welcome. My name is Ali King. This is a really short class on the spine. So if your spine is feeling a little sticky and sore today, let's try out these gentle asanas together. So I'm using a yoga strap and a blanket from my sofa. So you don't have to have a blanket, but just see what you have at home. And in regards to the strap, a towel can work. So I'm going to place this blanket in a nice fold underneath my sit bones. So just find any comfortable fold of your blanket that works for you and place it behind you and then gently lift up onto the blanket. Now you might like to uncross your legs if they're crossed and just see how the legs are feeling and the feet. And then Gently open out the sit bones and come to a cross-legged position. So I'm drawing my right leg under, left side leg over, and gently placing the foot just above that right shin. Hands can now relax to my knees. And as you can see, I have this little lifted gap under my left side knee, which often happens to me. So there's no support for that side. I could put a cushion or blanket under there to feel that a little bit more stable. So I have one over here and I'm going to pop my knee right onto there. So now I have that sense of stability in the body. How are you feeling? Your body is very different to mine, we're all unique. So just notice what you need and then place your strap on the side and hands to the knees eyes closed and let's really arrive into the body and contemplate our spine. I'd like you to imagine a golden cord starting from the base of your pelvis in the center of your body right at the earth and then draw that golden cord up through your belly, through the belly button, up through the chest and up to the crown of the head. And as you draw that cord up, can you gently create a neutral but slightly long spine? So we're not trying to overdo the length and pull apart the spine, but if you were collapsed in the spine, which would be a non-neutral position, slumped, which can happen at the moment, we're slumping a lot, right? Could you draw gently to neutral? So lift the chest forwards, maybe open the heart, Lead a little with the sternum. Soften the shoulders down. And arrive into a golden chariot. And the golden chariot is our spine. And we're going to really work on a healthy spine today. So can you visualize a healing white light floating over your spine, invigorating your spinal cord? Take a longer, deeper inhale and a longer, deeper exhale. Then place the backs of your hands onto the knees so the palms are up to the sky as if you're about to catch some falling stars. Keep that lovely, neutral, slightly long sense of spine. And gently lift up your right palm and place it up and across to the opposite knee, left side knee. Now we're going to free out the other palm and gently bring that behind your spine. And before you go into a twist, which you might think you're going to right now, just wait a moment. Gaze forwards, keep lengthening the spine, keep breathing into the belly. And then, with the left hand gently planted behind you, find a really slow, nourishing twist. And as you breathe into your twist, can you release any tension in your belly? Gradually, gently twisting to your left. Can you take the twist from the belly button to the sternum? So it is not the neck you're focusing on twisting, but your torso. And find a comfortable spot to stay at. And just breathe out. Twists do not need to be tight and deep. They are restorative for the spine. So keep it gentle, nurturing. And 
Let's take three deep inhales. Exhale. Can you let go of what tension are you holding on to? Maybe as you empty the breath, you twist just a tiny bit further. Can you gaze slightly down? If your neck is relaxed, but also continues from the spine. you're ready, gently untwist. Now take that left hand and place the palm onto the opposite right knee. Right arm is going to gently reach back. And if you're struggling to find the earth, you could tent onto the fingers, which I often do, or place the fingers and the palms onto a block behind you. And before you go anywhere, can you gently stretch the heart forward? So you're giving the spine a little bit of traction. Slowly find your twist to the opposite side. Right side this time. Peeling to the twist, keeping the spine very neutral. Keeping the pelvis neutral. Twisting from the torso, belly button, up to sternum. Is your energy Feeling soft, feeling the spine nourished. If you're feeling any discomfort, back up, undo a little, and just come to that place of ease and comfort. And let's pause here and just be here in this moment. Take three calming breaths, nourishing breaths. Belly fills and exhaling, releasing tension. How are you feeling right now? When you empty your breath, would you like to twist or back off? Whenever you're ready, untwisting. How do you feel now? So take the hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra, thumbs to sternum. And offer a body that intention of healing energy. Offer your spine that intention to nourish and heal. Releasing the fingers and gently pressing the palms away from you as you lengthen through the arms. Take an inhale here and as you exhale, reach the arms right up to the sky. Stretch up, maybe stretch a little to your left and a little to your right. Come to a center and gently release. And now hands up to sky. Left hand to right elbow. Right hand to left elbow. Take a little hug here. Contain everything to centre. Draw the low belly in. Soften the ribs to the hips. And then reach up and over to your left. Breathe very deep. Exhale. Back to centre. Up and over to your right. Really here in here. Exhale. Back to center. Let's just take a moment. Taking a moment at center. And then can you create a little circular motion from your belly button up through to the ribs to those elbows? Might feel a little strange to start. So soothing out your nervous system. And then maybe go the other. Fingers and stay here a moment. Relaxing the hands.
hands to the knee. Let's pick up our strap and unbind it, unwind it out. Just finding the full length of the strap. We're going to use the strap to just reach open and stretch out the arms. So think about the distance you'd like to take right hand and left hand to. So give your arms the full length them up and to the sides of the head now. Just have a nice little stretch and see if that stretch will reach up to the sky and just create that nice little stretch in the spine also. Take an inhale, exhale and now just very gently reach your strap slightly behind you just very slowly maybe an inch and take a pause there. Let the heart feel Let the shoulder blades draw together like angel wings. As wings are opening, the arms are the wings. The shoulder blades themselves are the tips, the inside area that's reaching towards one another. Feels really good. And now can you inhale and exhale. We'll reach that strap back forwards and then down, hands in front of shoulders. Let's inhale here. And exhale the strap back up. Exhale. Repeat. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So we're coming into that area, the rhomboid area around the back shoulder. So the connective tissues around our spine, like a 3D sock, and everything is a matrix that effects everywhere. It's all the matrix connected together. So the toes affect the nose and the shoulders. There's one more stretch we can do now with the strap. Reach the hands over. So reach the hands onto the strap, create space length in the arms and let the hands slide down the strap. Bring the strap up above the head. Make any adjustments. I can tell mine too far apart now. And we're going to come now to the left. So slowly, gradually reach both arms over to your left side. This is a really subtle yoga asana. I'm not going to go too far. Breathe here, inhale. And then exhale back through center. Inhale. And exhale over to your right now. Can you focus on your belly and heart and notice if you're flaring your ribs. I'm going to encourage you to keep your ribs gently towards the hips as you breathe and inhale and exhale to the other side. Feeling good. Maybe you'd like one more. Hmm. Really subtle. And then back through center. Let's see how the shoulders feel now. I can really loosen mine up. Mine feel good. Relax the hands to the knee. Just reach your shoulders up and back. So circular motion. Now focus on one side. So for me, the left side shoulders reaching up and back. So I'm really connecting to that side. Breathing into it, inhaling, exhaling. Then switching to the right side. For me, I'm rolling up and back both together, up and back. And maybe the opposite direction, so shall you move forwards, circular motion forwards, up and forwards with your circle. Good. And release. Coming to a sense of quiet, a reflection on how do you feel. 